Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh up in their side. Body language at Taj Mahal shows rare moment of PDA between them. Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh Sheikh up in the side. Bintani Matum are in India today. And the couple made sure to visit the iconic Taj Mahal as part of their tour. Thought as one of the most romantic monuments in the world, the romance of the trip certainly had an effect on Sheikh Hamdan with their body languages showing rare PDA. Sheikh Sheikh up in the side. Bintani Matum 33 and Sheikh Hamdan 36 are not known for ostentatious displays of affection but even this usually stoic couple found themselves swept up in the romance of iconic landmark the Taj Mahal in India and a body language expert has revealed the romance and show between the Sheikh and First Lady. This is in direct contrast to arguably the most famous photograph taken at the location, that of Princess Haya. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, Arab writer said the iconic history of Taj Mahal as the ultimate romantic statement of love and loss means every couple posing in front of it will perform some sort of intentional gesture or non-verbal signal of the state of their own relationship. Princess Haya flagged up the end of her marriage and her single status by sitting alone on the bench surrounded by empty space that should have been filled by her husband, Mohammed bin Rashid al-Maktoum. She looked isolated, sad and vulnerable, sitting with her legs tucked to one side in a self-diminished pose and using a held tilt and lip-twisting fry smile as a body language version of a shrug of regret. Looking at Sheikh Hamdan today, Arab writer said, in contrast with Princess Haya uncoupling signals, Sheikh Hamdan posed here in a state of conscious coupling, veering on the self-conscious coupling, standing erect and mirrored in a rare moment of PDA status. Strength and power are given from the signals of this couple who tend to prefer stunning to attention to indulging in prolonged bouts of eye gazing or even smoking. But the hand clasp with curled fingers does suggest that the romance of the location has affected the sheikh and his first lady. The outfits even appear to be subtly coordinated, giving a bit of the team of two feeling to their messaging and although their smiles appear a little rigid and forced, there is a hint that Sheikh Hamdan might just see himself in the role of romantic lead here. Sheikh and Sheikh have been the same time McTurn look Sheikh in a white jumpsuit for a first day in India teaming up it with a green sash. Sheikh Sheikh have been the same time McTurn gave her look a pop of color with a green scarf tied around her waist. Sheikh Sheikh have been the same time McTurn and Sheikh Hamdan were given a royal welcome at the airport that included live music and a red carpet. They were also greeted by India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi as they touched down. The India visit is set to last two days and Sheikh Hamdan shared his excitement posting a tweet in Hindu. It read, we are ready to come to India. We are on our way. We'll be meeting everyone in a few hours. Sheikh Hamdan have been to see Mitani McToom chose to wear a long sleeved white jumpsuit for the arrival into India. The look was Atelier a kite for Herve Pierre. According to reports, the garment had a fitted top that continued into a straight like trousers. She gave a nod to the country hosting her by tying a silk scarf around her waist. The accessory was in a dark green color and featured a traditional Indian print made by gold metallic thread. Fans of Sheikha Sheikha Binda Said Bintana McToom took to Twitter to compliment her airport style. One wrote, Sheikha Sheikha Binda Said Bintana McToom is looking very generous in Indian designer's outfit.